there was one glitch, there was one problem that I couldn't, I couldn't conquer it. I couldn't help him. So you've got to stop blaming yourself because it tears you up. What he taught the world is that no amount of money will cure an addict. With emotions still very raw, Matthew's mother, Suzanne, stepfather, Dateline correspondent, Keith Morrison, and three sisters told today of the moment they learned of his fatal ketamine overdose. Somebody called Suzanne and, and he just said, Matthew's dead. And it- Matthew's dead. Your son is dead. When he passed, did, did you think he's sober? He's still we, yeah. on his path? It, it appeared to us as if he was, uh, not to you. It certainly looked, seemed like it to me that he was, though he was, had been treated with ketamine. We didn't know how much of it he was taking. I don't even know if in his mind he had relapsed. That's interesting. I don't I, think he did. Yeah. Today, Jennifer Aniston marked the one year anniversary, posting these behind the scenes photos from friends. Over the weekend, the house where he died sold for $8.55 million. Matthew purchased it in 2020 for $6 million. He was, sorry. Mm -hmm. Like, he was grumpy all the time, and but he was funny all the time. Really, all he ever wanted was to love and to be loved. In 1998, Matthew told us his family remained proud of him throughout his very public addiction battle. You have younger siblings. Yeah. You must be a huge role model for them. Yeah, I guess in, in some ways. You get into a place in your life where you're having a problem, and you either, you know, lie down about it or step up to bat and... Take your, uh, take your swing, and that's what I did. So far, five people have been charged with the circumstances surrounding Matthew's death. What I'm hoping that people who have put themselves in the business of, of supplying people with the drugs that'll kill them, that they are now on notice. Are you going down, baby? 